So this is a really important note before you move on or before you graduate from Scrimba or you start doing things on your own. And that is, we have a viewport meta tag. And I didn't include it in the lessons of this module. When we take a look in the browser window or on our desktop computer and we play with the width, it works really well. But this doesn't fully simulate how a phone will render a page. So the best case scenario is actually testing out the sites you're doing on your actual phone or multiple phones on an iPad, on your Android tablet, whatever it is. We want to actually test across different devices. The reason we have this viewport meta tag, we're going to see it in a second. But mobile devices, what they started doing is to prevent problems in how the page was rendered, when sites are not optimized for mobile devices and small screens, they would render a zoomed out version of the page and then they'd shrink it down to fit inside the viewport of their mobile device. So they all, every device has its sort of default size. So you might be on a phone, like an iPhone that has a width of 360 pixels, but what they're going to do is they're actually going to bring in the version. They're telling the browser that it's 960 and it's going to take the version of your site as if it was at 960 pixels wide and it's going to shrink the whole thing down and it's going to be super zoomed out it's going to look like your desktop site but really really small even if you did all the hard work of building your media queries and doing everything you wanted to make it responsive so to prevent it from doing this on our pages which we've optimized for small screens with their media queries we need to add a meta tag to the head of our document there are a lot of different attributes that we can add, but the basic meta tag that you'll use will look something like this, or it will look exactly like this really. And this can be added anywhere in the head of our document. This will make sure that the page actually loads properly on mobile devices, which after all the hard work we did, we really wanted to do. So once you've graduated from here on Scrimba and you're working on your own pages and you're testing them in different devices, remember to include this in your head. I can go anywhere up here. I already have a meta tag for that. I'm going to go right after that and paste it in right there. So what this is doing is it's saying that it's a meta tag is always referencing different things. We haven't really looked at meta tags, but it's referencing like different stuff. You can have a description of the site. You can have the author of the site. So if we say meta name equals author content is equal to Kevin Powell. For this individual page of my website, I've said that the author of this page was Kevin Powell. I know the browser knows that. There are other ones that you may use along the way as well. Um, but in this case, we're looking at the viewport ones. So we're saying that this meta tag is related to our viewport. And the first one here is the really important one. What this is doing is it's saying the width is actually the device width. So this is where I said that mobile devices would simulate being a larger device and then shrink everything down. So it would say, no, I'm actually a device that's 960 pixels. And then it would take that and shrink that whole thing down. This is saying, nope, the width isn't what you're telling me it is. It's the actual device width. And the initial scale, um, you don't, I don't think really, really need it, but it's pretty standard to have it in there. And it's just setting the initial zoom level when the page is first loaded. So you could actually have it zoomed in more or less, um, but I think that'd be really, really awkward. So you generally want it just to be zoomed to 100% or like the default 1.0 type of thing. Um, to have it not scaled when the page is loaded. So once you're done here on Scrimba and you're making your own web pages, please, please remember always to be including this in here because the browser window on your computer is not the same as on your phone or on your tablet. So you want to test across different devices. And most importantly, if you don't want things to look really zoomed out, make sure every single page that you create has this meta tag right here.